Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video. This is really exciting today because I'm going to try my first rougher brushes. Well, I bought four. Bought four rougher brushes. I bought this face brush number five, which is a fluffy brush. Feels very, very nice. And three eye brushes that I'm going to try today. I got number two. This is number two. And this is number 14. Hope you can see that. And the last one is the bigger one of all, which is number 16. So this is 16, which is a very fluffy brush. And I wash them. Of course, I always wash my brushes before I use them. And I do recommend for you to do the same. So I'm going to try these three eyes. 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 Why eyes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try these three eye brushes. That's what I wanted to say. And I'm going to try on camera the Natasha Denona Zenadu palette. I bought this palette on a Wimps was on sale I think 35% off and I've, and I wanted to try these kind of palettes by Natasha Denona which looks like this let's try yeah like this and these are magnificent shades now I already tried this palette twice so today is going to be the third time me trying this palette and well I don't know I don't understand the hype I really don't I know that Natasha Denona palettes are very very hyped and I don't get it but we're going to create a look together today. Maybe I will change my mind. But so far from the two looks that I created, for my personal preference, so far I didn't really like it. And I will explain why. I'm going to prime my eyelids with my LA Girl HD eyeshadow primer. Like I usually do. Recently I've been using this a lot. And it's still here. It's not going anywhere. You can see that I've been using it a lot. I love it. I think it is perfect. And I'm just taking my brush. And you know what? Let's try with a powder. I usually don't add powder. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. So let's add powder. So adding just my ColourPop power, banana powder on top of this eyeshadow primer. Maybe it will help me to like it more. And I will explain in a minute why I don't really like it. Okay, I'm going to start with 14, which is for the crease and it is especially for one that have hooded eyes so i'm taking the lightest shade which is balance well in my opinion if you want to go on the warm side of the palette which is this side you have two shades that are for transition balance and calm i'm going with balance which is this brown orangey shade here there is a big mirror which is wonderful now first time that I'm trying the rougher brushes so I haven't tried them before they were waiting for me to try them on camera because I don't know I kind of wanted to try them together with you for the first time packs really really nice and the mattes well 
I love the mattes from Natasha Denona. The problem I have is with the shimmers. And maybe, I don't know. I've been using them, as I said, I've used them twice already when I was getting ready for work. And I didn't really like it. Didn't like the shimmery part of these palettes. The shimmers swatch magnificently. Whoa, that is really, really pigmented. Okay. I think that this brush is very, very dense, hence it packs a lot. Definitely more than I'm used to. Okay. This is the first one, and then I'm going to take number two. And let's pack Vigor, which is this color here. I could have done a brown, but I don't know. I don't feel like a brown, so let's take Vigor, which looks beautiful. And I do like the mirror here. Okay, so it's a small packing brush, which is kind of perfect for this application of the outer corner, but I think it's going to be perfect for the under eye area as well. So let's pack on this side as well. I do like the mirror, but it's a bit reflective when I am holding it up for the camera. And you can see all the mess that I have on my table, <laughs> which is not a good idea. <laughs> my coffee is here waiting for me. Okay, so far I like it. I'm going to add with the same brush to the same color to the lower lash line. Let's see how it performs to the lower lash line. Maybe I need to dip it like this if I want to add color to the lower lash line. Yep, definitely. Okay, nice. Nice brush. I love brushes that can do more than one thing. That you can use them for multiple purposes. <laughs> okay, now I love the mattes by Natasha Denona. I don't have a problem with the mattes. I have a problem with the shimmers and I'm losing light so I need to speed things up. I'm going to show you what I mean. Let's take for example Tranquil, which is this nice shimmer shade here metallic okay and let's take this one here let's just swatch these three one two three okay so let's take Yama so this is Yama which is a gold and Tranquil and Sense let's take a bit more from Tranquil and a bit more from Yama. Now these look just beautiful. On my fingers they look magnificent. I'm going to swatch them and you're going to be amazed by the swatches. Look at that. These are beautiful swatches. Just beautiful. Okay, so beautiful swatches. I love that on my fingers. Very, very creamy. Love it. Now, let's do what I usually do. I take a shimmer and I apply it on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to take Tranquil and I use this finger. 
and I'm just going to pack it and add it okay where is the shimmery part I don't know and look on my finger it looks very very shimmery and when I apply it to the eyelid nothing do you see shimmer on my eyelids I definitely don't see a shimmer okay so I thought to myself okay maybe it's because of the finger maybe we'll take a brush and do that with a brush okay so I just took a flat brush let's take a flat clean brush if I have something clean I know that I have a clean brush oh, yeah okay let's take this brush it looks green but it's clean the green doesn't want to come off so I'm going to take the same shade pack it on the brush you can see like that and I'm going to add it I want to see dry first nothing okay let's do it again let's pack on the brush and this time I'm going to spray it I mean there is nothing else I can do let's spray it so just taking my setting spray and spray it wet right now I expect shimmer where is the shimmer okay let's add some more try do it on the other eye where is the shimmer I don't know no shimmer and you know I have Colourpop which is a lot more affordable than Natasha Denona and I do the same thing just with my finger now let's take a different shade let's take Luster which is this shimmery shade here let's try this one with my finger on my finger it looks divine look at that this one here so on my finger it looks divine when I pack it do you see anything well maybe it's a good shimmer but not the one that I was expecting not the quality that I was expecting not the bling that I was expecting I don't know I don't know let's try again with my finger look how gorgeous it is on my finger now the only thing that I didn't do is add more of the eyeshadow palette eyeshadow primer okay look on my finger that looks just so gorgeous and creamy and the swatches just look divine let's add I do see a bit of a shimmer now after three times but not the bling that I was looking for that I'm used to from Colourpop, from BH Cosmetics, from Juvia Space. So maybe now we can see some shimmering. Let's see. Before we lose completely the lighting, uh, let's try Sense. This is a Sense which is dark I don't like dark maybe we'll try this one here yeah se oh sense is this <laughs> okay so sense it is on an eye base and this is very frustrating I have to say 
I don't know. Maybe I got a dad. I don't know. I was expecting some bling. No bling. Just nothing. You know, let's add it here. Look at that. On my hand, this is the color. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. Why can't I have this gorgeousness on my lid? I do not understand. Now, you know what? Let's take just a random color pop palette going coconut. Just pulled it randomly from my drawer. This is a ColourPop going coconut palette. Let's see that. Beautiful shimmers, beautiful mattes, a very beautiful palette. Let's take, well my fingers are a bit dirty but never mind. Let's take the middle shade, which is this shade here. Let's add it. What fell? My brush. Look at that. I didn't do anything. I did, took my finger, rub it like this, and edit. This was, this is the bling I was looking for. When I used Natasha Denona. Didn't get it. I got it in the swatches. Swatches are beautiful beautiful swatches these are gorgeous swatches i love them very much but on the eyelids what you see now is color pop which is i think about 10 times less expensive approx than natasha denona so i love this palette i love the color scheme it looks divine. I really, really like it. You know what? Let's add row. Row is this shimmery shade here. Let's try and add this to the lower lash line. You know, I'm just lost. I don't know what to do anymore. Okay, let's try with the brush. Uh, with the brush. Of course, I'm trying with the brush. I meant with the spray. Let's spray it. Yeah, I sprayed it. Okay, let's try now with the spray. What do you think? I'm going to have a bling? Not really. Not the bling I was looking for, to be honest with you. So, if you have this palette and you use it and you love it and it works for you, I'm happy and jealous because I can't get it to work for me. I mean, I love the mattes. Mattes are beautiful, they're lovely, they're, you know, just magnificent. I love this magenta color here. Let's add this one. <gasps> okay, no, that's that's a matte. No, it's not a matte. It's a sort of shimmer. I guess, I guess it's a cream to powder kind of vibe. Let's take the other pinky and do it on the other side. So it will be the same on both sides. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I have to fix it now. Uh, yeah. Okay, but at least something is happening here. I don't like the outcome, but what do you think about the look? I think the color pop saved it a bit, but it is not my favorite, but I didn't apply here very well. Let's correct it. So, 
Let's correct it. And I'm losing light by the second it goes by. Let's take number 16 and do a bit of blending. What do I think about the way the Wayne Goss? It's not Wayne Goss, it's Refer. What do I think about the Refer brushes so far? I kind of like them. Okay. Nice. Let's just smudge the lower lash line as well. Okay. Perfect. Exactly what I didn't want to have on my face. <laughs> Okay, 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 this is very frustrating. Okay, so to conclude, my opinion about Natasha Denona, it can vary, of course, everyone has a different opinion and it's okay to disagree. That's what friends do, friends disagree. So maybe you love this palette and if you do, let me know. What am I doing wrong? I mean, I must have, I must be doing something wrong if the whole entire world kind of likes it and I don't, then I'm definitely doing something wrong. Please let me know what I'm doing wrong. So if you have this palette or you have a different Natasha Denona palette that you love and you can tell me what I'm doing wrong, then please do, because I'm curious. So, to conclude, let's add some mascara and I'm adding my Golden Rose. This is my Golden Rose False Lashes. And I'm going to add mascara and conclude my opinion about this palette. About this palette. Okay, so the mattes are very pigmented. I didn't have any fallout, which is just perfect. I love mattes that don't have fallout. I don't have fallout due to the mattes. This is perfect very very pigmented very creamy very blendable the mattes are perfect but for some reason i don't know why the shimmers don't work out for me and i tried all of them well all the warm toned shimmers and the blue one light blue one so i don't know I really don't. I tried with my finger. I tried with a dry brush. I tried with a wet brush. I tried um, adding powder to my uh, base coat. I tried applying base coat on top. I tried so many things and nothing is making it better. So I really don't understand. If you have tips for me, I'm here and I'm waiting. Write them in the comment section down below. And I lost the light almost completely. In about two minutes it's going to be pitch dark, I guess. Well, not two minutes, but a few minutes. It's going to be pitch dark and I don't like to take my videos in artificial lighting. So, I have artificial light already because otherwise you won't be able to see anything it's too too dark i hate winter just because of that now what do you think about the look i'm not a fan i have to say kind of disappointed i guess that i expected more so when you expect a lot usually when it doesn't work out you get disappointed so I'm disappointed, 
but I do like the mattes. So the mattes are great, but I didn't like the shimmers. So this is it. This is everything for me. This is the look that I created using the Zenedu palette by Natasha Denona. Maybe you like the final look. Don't f don't forget that I added here some of going coconuts of color pop to just give it a bit of a light shimmer or any kind of shimmer. To, to be honest, I love something sparkly in my inner corner, and I didn't get it in this look. Okay, and this is everything for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget give it a thumbs up. Enjoy these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors, but I don't know why. I really don't. Please help me. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And with that said, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe before you leave, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.